What's up guys, what's going on? It's your boy here, Ryan, Ryan Beats. How's everybody doing? Uh, today, um, I actually got a comment. Ooh, I forgot what it was. But um, it's an Instagram DM comment asking about the shop, my screen printing shop, uh, wondering if I can do a tour. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I should do something like that. And I was actually trying to clean up a little bit, but I was like, you know what? I shouldn't be cleaning up. I'm trying to show you guys how it is, all right? Um, as all of you guys know, or majority of you guys know, that my shop is actually in my garage. I haven't found a spot yet, but right now I'm in the garage as with a family of five, three kids, everything gets dumped in the garage. Some of you guys will understand what I'm going through. But anyways, this is the shop. Here's the shop, garage door. So here's the shop guys. That's where we stand at the moment. First things first, let's go look at the press. This is a BWM Hopkins press. I think they call this the convertible. I think they call this the convertible. Um, the heads are are toolless, meaning that you don't need wrenches or anything like that because it already has these handles here. It wrenches by itself. All these are all the way around. You got these that will loosen up your uh, micro registrations to tighten them down. You got your tilt here, just loosen this up. You get your tilt and you have your off contact which is back here and back here. So this, this is called, I think they call this the ultimate head or something like that. Can't quite remember, but this is an older press. I bought this thing used. It is a six by six, meaning that it's a six head, six platen, six board, six stations, whatever you guys wanna call it. So it's a six by six. Um, I did buy this used, like I said, and um, the only thing wrong with this one is that um, some of the handles, like uh, on the head, show you guys here. Like for instance, this one, the the um, which about the handle broke for the off contact. So I have this guy right here lying around. And I can just turn it. That's one one thing and the other thing is when I bought it I didn't notice that um, this thing was welded on you guys can see there this whole bar I guess this thing broke off and they welded it so with registering for these two number two number two and number three you have to set your off contact just a little bit off so it'll be flat and even right but than that uh, that's just a work around everything works so with that said, I am planning on upgrading this press. Um, I want to get new springs, new adjusters, fix this adjuster, get the actual bolt for it. Um, maybe put it on wheels, I'm not quite sure, but that's in the works right now. Okay, so that's the press. Let's go with this uh, flash dryer here. This flash dryer, I don't know, honestly, I don't know what brand it is. It's probably like a Chinese brand. Um, but it's been working since. It's been work I bought it used and it's been working about, I don't know, two, three years now. Had no issues with it. The only thing is that it stays on. It's, there's no auto off, so it stays on. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the thing that started everything. <laughs> as far as the shop goes, this is my conveyor dryer. It is a 220. Uh, this is the Vastex Econo Red 2, I believe. Oh no, I'm sorry, Econo Red 1. Uh, says right there it has um, two heating elements one and two uh, I think I'm not quite sure how long the uh, the belt is but as you can see it's not that long um, but it fits perfect I again it's a used again, it's a used item this actually was given to me by a good friend of mine court he runs a company called court Smith basketball so if you guys haven't into basketball, check it out. Court Smith Basketball, I'll leave that on the uh, description below. Or I think it's courtsmith.com, I forgot what it's called. But anyways, yeah, so um, he gave this to me. Actually, he was moving. He said, hey, if you want this conveyor dryer, pick it up in the backyard. So I went ahead and grabbed it. And it's working fine for what I do. So, yeah. So this is, uh, again, this is the Econo Red 1. Now let's go to the screen rack or ink rack and screen rack, whatever you want to call it. 
All right, so majority of my inks are uh, from International Coatings, as you guys can see, and I get 95% of my inks from NorCal Screen and Supply. Uh, everything from uh, International Coatings inks, uh, the squeegees, here's my little squeegee rack. I kind of just zip tied it to the um, to this wire rack here. And all of my Plastisol inks, I, I do have some Wolf Flex down there, which it, this is the, actually the Epic Rio uh, mixing system. I haven't really had a chance to use it because it was, I haven't had a chance to use it. Okay, and I have my Fusion 180 inks on this side, and again, majority of the inks that I use are on top, which I still have to sort through and organize. I still gotta organize it. I do keep. Um, some web adhesive spray and some silicone spray here just in case but I hardly use them now I do keep my pellons up here with it and I do have my little squeegees here my 4 inch 3 inch and I think this is a 2 inch squeegee um, let's see here got my tape this is a uh, split tape from PMI and I think this is just your regular cheap um, screen tape that you can buy anywhere now going along on this side um, we got our um, palette tape palette tape we got our PMI dual tack here and we got our clear choice um, uh, transfer tape and like I said I use this transfer tape to do uh, multiple colors registering multiple colors I do uh, all right, so moving on to this side, like I was showing you guys, I do have my squeegee rack, just zip tied, and I tied in. Uh, I'm trying to steer away from the wooden ones um, because they're hard to clean, and I'm getting these um, aluminum squeegees from NorCal Scrimpia Supply. Let's see, what else we got going on here? Oh, on this little rack right here, this is what I use to... Um, Haul it ink around, move ink around. I do have some white balls here. I keep my squeegees in this little bin. I do just have some Enviro wipes, uh, ink wipes or screen wipes, whatever you want to call it. And right on, and right on top of that, I do have some toddler shirts and onesies. Don't ask why. Um, I still have these. These are actually customers. Um, they ordered and uh, they canceled the project. Now I'm stuck with some onesies and zip up toddler whatever, but it's it's paid for. It's just they never they just canceled the project. All right, so this is this bin right here. This is all where all my um, transparencies go. Uh, transparency bin, I guess. Moving to this side. This is the uh, <laughs> well, all these screens I need to uh, reclaim. So. Yeah, don't want to talk about that right now. All right, moving on next to it is my, um, what is this thing? The heat press, 16 by 20 heat press. It's actually on a dolly. I move it around. I move it out of here when I need to get to that door. Uh, same thing with this one. The hat press is on this dolly. Same dolly, just move it around. All right, let's go to this rack. More kid stuff up here that I need to whatever get rid of uh, more screens more screens that I need to reclaim right below it is my CBX 2024 exposure unit um, I did upgrade it to the um, this guy which is the the timer the digital timer instead of the analog twist timer that one's more effective if you have one of these upgrade or get one of those uh, plug-in timers whatever to the socket right so yes just some blank tees and some hot wheel stuff all right so moving on over here this is my Epson 4880 uh, wide format printer I haven't used this in about mm, going on two and a half years now just because it's out of ink that's one thing I've been wanting to switch this over to an all black um, printer I've just been lazy and cheap to buy up the the inks and the cartridges and all that system uh, yeah so it just sits here but soon hopefully within a year uh, I'll switch it over and start using it I hate to get rid of it 
All right, so since we're on this table here, uh, I got this little rack, uh, some laptops up there, my Cameo 3, right below it. Well, all right, so you guys know my Cameo 3, which I'll be doing a video of it soon. Um, I'll let you guys know what's going on with this. Next one below it is my um, label printer. This is the Label Rider, Label Rider 4XL by Dymo. It's a great little shipping um, printer, but I'm sure there's better ones out there. It's a thermal printer. So if you're gonna get a label printer for your labels, make sure you get a thermal printer. Uh, let's see here. On this rack, we have our vinyl. We have our HTV over there. And we got our regular vinyl here or sticker vinyl or whatever to call it hats 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 and of course right below the table is more blank tees more blank tees and oh yeah so outside this door it's kind of dark out so outside this door is actually my washout booth I go out there and wash out my screens this is I was gonna give you a sneak peek sneak peek this is my um 24 inch vinyl cutter US cutter 24 or something like that I don't know but yeah um, like I said and the rest of it is back here is all the garage stuff got my my tool chest there got some whatever garage stuff right and you know shoes yeah so this is the shot um, I'm gonna go switch hats real quick oh this one feels better uh, let's see anyways that's it guys I'm not sure so I'm not sure if you guys even want to see the recording studio, but uh, if you guys want to see that, as far as like a studio tour, I guess, um, leave that in the comment below. All right. Uh, yeah. So this is it. This is my humble, humble, really small screen print shop. So if you haven't done so, hit the like button, subscribe, and ding the notification bell. All right. See you guys in the next one. Have a great weekend. Peace out.